Today we're checking out the F1 HomePal projector. This one is native 1080p resolution, but also supports 4K. It has a built-in 15 watt speaker. It's got Bluetooth 5.0, and it's gonna work with anything that uses an HDMI connection or USB as well. 10,001 contrast ratio, 1100 lumens brightness. It's a, this one has dual band Wi-Fi, so 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And it's gonna work best on a screen up to 200 inches. They're advertised about 50,000 hours bulb life. Inside the box, you've got a user manual, lens cleaning cloth, HDMI cable is included, pretty typical power cable, audio video adapter, pretty typical small remote control, has most of the stuff you would want like volume, play, forwards, backwards, directional arrows, source, menu, exit, mute, and power button. You've also got an adjustable foot, Nice looking fabric material there on the front, along with your remote control sensor. Top, you've got your manual focus and keystone adjustment. Then you've got several controls there on the top as well. Most of the same buttons that are on the remote control. On one side, you've got the power, ventilation on the other side more ventilation on the back along with the built-in speaker. Then you've got two HDMI ports, two USB ports, audio video, a headphone jack, and your remote control sensor. You've also got your mounting threads there in the middle along with your adjustable foot. Now, first thing I noticed after getting this hooked up that this is definitely brighter than I expected. You could actually use this with all lights on if you need to, but obviously it's gonna look better with all the lights off. On the home screen, you'll get a pretty simple setup with movie, music, photo, settings, support, and shortcuts over on the side for audio, video, HDMI 1 and 2, and Miracast. In settings, you have several different picture modes to choose from, but I feel like it actually looks pretty good just at the default default settings. You also have color temperature and projection direction as well. You also have different sound modes. And I did notice that the sound on this is going to be different depending on what device you have connected. I noticed it wasn't nearly as loud when I connected my on-brand Google TV box, but then for my gaming systems, it was nice and loud. You also have a sleep timer, auto sleep, OSD timer. You can also connect your Bluetooth speaker or headphones in here, or you can restore to factory default and zoom in as well. Not sure if you can tell from this video, but the picture quality on here is way better than expected. I mean, it may not have auto focus or auto keystone adjustments, but I was really surprised at how well this looks when watching movies, TV shows. It also looks really good if you connect to mobile devices like my iPad, you could easily use this for presentations or things like that. Text on here is nice and sharp as well, which is always good to see. You can also play mobile games on here. Just testing out Asphalt 9. As you can see, it looks really nice and smooth. And it didn't have much lag or delay either. And then of course, retro games look really good on here as well. I did test out Rocket League on my Xbox, which is going to be a struggle for some projectors. But that wasn't the case with this one. Again, nice and smooth, hardly any lag this actually seems to be pretty decent when it comes to gaming i think if you're looking for a projector that has a really good picture quality maybe you want one to do some gaming on as well this is right up there with some of the better ones i've tested it might just not have all the bells and whistles like auto focus auto keystone adjustment those types of things but you're still gonna have bluetooth but yes in my opinion this one's definitely worth checking out especially if it's on sale 